the American theater is lousy with hidden gems, but I think in particular there are a lot of plays, what used to be, well, they're still called well-made plays of the 30s and 40s, that fell out of fashion when the fashion in American theater turned towards more personal expressionistic playwriting. Uh, Tennessee Williams really marks the big change in direction here. Uh, there's still a lot to be said uh, for the well-made, witty, clever, three-act comedy. Uh, uh, there's a playwright named S.N. Behrman, Sam Behrman, uh, uh, who wrote these kinds of, of social comedies that are actually extremely sharp and, and, and still quite provocative. Uh, he has a play called Biography, which is about to be produced off-Broadway that I'm going to see. And I've, I've actually seen that produced and I'm excited by it. Uh, John Van Druten, another purveyor of well-made boulevard theater that's actually much more challenging and interesting than you might expect. There's a wonderful play called The Voice of the Turtle, a three-character play that has never had a modern production on the East Coast, so far as I know. Uh, there are British playwrights, Terence Radigan in particular, who, who are also totally unfashionable because of their, their being rooted in, in in traditional ways of play construction. I'm not saying that this is the best or the only way to write a play. I, I like Tennessee Williams as much as the next guy and Sam Shepard and, and all sorts of different ways of writing plays. But I don't think that, that what worked in the 30s and 40s should be disregarded simply because it is no longer fashionable. And that's something that I sort of crusade for in my own writing. I look for productions of, of playwrights like that. David Cromer from Chicago, I think, is the most gifted young director in America. He had a real setback. He just made his Broadway debut last month with the, what was supposed to be a, a repertory production of two Neil Simon plays, and they closed it after the first one opened and before the second one got open. That's not going to stop him. This is a guy who is, is imagination just oozes out of his pores. He did an off-Broadway production of Our Town, uh, last season, it's still running, in which he played the stage manager. Now, nowadays, everybody's seen Our Town. Your high school did it. You probably did it when you were in, in high school. It is an utterly familiar play, and Cromer, without distorting it, without transforming it beyond recognition, made it absolutely new and fresh, and every moment of it was alive. He did the same thing with the production of The Glass Menagerie that I saw in Kansas City last year. The same thing with the production of William Inge's uh, Picnic that I saw in Chicago uh, two years ago. Uh, I got on to him because I travel and most other critics don't, and so I was aware of him earlier than, than he was generally known in New York. And now he, he is at the top of the list of directors whose work I will travel to see. He excites me. Mm -hmm.